Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And on today's Yorkie video, we're gonna discuss about Yorkie bedding. What type of bed does Evie even sleep on? Which bed didn't work out for her and which bed is working for her at this current moment? So if you guys are interested in watching this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, by doing this, this places my video into the algorithm so if anyone else is interested in learning more about Yorkies, they can find them. So I greatly appreciate any effort into placing the like button. All right, so let's get into the video and learn more about Yorkie bedding. All right, everyone, here is Evie the Duchess. Evie the Duchess, what's up Evie? What's up Evie? So pretty much I'm gonna talk about these beds here. Um, I did leave one bed at my mom's house and it's a memory foam bed that Evie really, really loves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to post a video or like a picture of what the memory foam bed looks like. So that way you guys get an idea on which one she really, really loves. Pretty much it has a great support. It's pretty flat and has even like a little cute little armrest. She loves this bed right here. It's kind of like a fluffy, soft, pillowy material. Um, this actually was shaped a lot better, but I've honestly washed it a few times in a washing machine that made it shape a little bit deform me. <laughs> Now the size of it is pretty big as well. When I first got it, it, it was kind of like more like squared, but now it's a little lumpy, but Evie likes it. Evie in the bed, where are you? In the bed, yes girl. This is her bed. And as you can see, that's what she does all the time. She kind of leans off to the left of it. So that's why it's kind of lumpy and it's shaped real funny. Um, she uses her blanket as well. It has a lot of space and she sometimes goes inside her blanket when she feels cold. So this one is a perfect shaped bed for her and this is like her ultimate favorite. Second one right here, this I bought in Wayfair.com. They have like these couches, so you'll, you'll buy it just like this. It'll look just like this, like a real couch, which I find really cute with the little foot, foot pieces in it. Um, so at first she didn't really care for this. She didn't care for this bed at all. Um, it's kind of soft a little bit right here. It's a little cushiony, um, but I like to place a little blanket over it. So once I put the blanket on it and I went to five below and bought like a little soft pillow like such, and she ended up liking this couch bed <laughs> as well. Obviously this is her favorite. She's so comfortable in this one. Now her first bed when I first bought her was this one here, which is like the donut, I like to call it. She was a puppy and she ended up like tearing it up a little bit, but she loves this bed as well. She's currently eight pounds. And when I first got this bed, she was like maybe half the size, like four pounds. But um, she definitely loved this bed. She was just in a teething stage. So she ended up like biting holes into it. <laughs> but she still loves this bed. I put this in my kid's room. Um, what I need to do is sew it up because she Evie still takes the fluff out of it. You can also get philo, polyfill, I'm sorry, polyfill to stuff all your beds when they are losing shape as well. As you can see, this is what she's been doing, taking the fluff out. Evie, no, leave the fluff alone. Now, we're pretty much about to move into a new home very soon in seven months, and I purchased this bed here from Sam's Club, not Sam's Club.com, but actually in-store Sam's Club. Sometimes they don't sell beds online and you can get more of a selection in their actual warehouse store. So I found this bed here, this was about 20 bucks. And it kind of has a combination of both donuts and fluff. So I just bought this bed and Edie has not been on it at all, like at all. She's not used to it. She probably thinks it's not big enough or she's just not used to it. It's pretty firm over here. It's kind of, I don't want to say hard. My husband said it's kind of hard, but I love that it's like, you know, like tucked off because Evie loves the tuckness from here. So this one has that here and it also has the circular portion that I felt like she would like and it's very soft, but 
In the beginning, Evie didn't like any of these beds. And what happened was is I always told her to get in the bed and I would give her a treat. So she felt like these were gonna be, she, she, broke, she got pretty much broken into these beds to love them. Um, and this one too. So all three, she loves these three beds, but I was just trying to transition her into something a little less bulky, a little less soggy, <laughs> and something newer and nicer and not as big as this one. This, this is big. This is just as, not just as big as this, but these two in size are pretty in the way. <laughs> this one, not so much. So if you are working with a smaller home or a smaller space or a smaller room, this is like the go-to and this one here. Um, that's the only reason why I bought this one is because I was just trying to minim minimalize like the clutter, <laughs> I don't wanna call a bed clutter, but I was just trying to make some, you know, have something that was less in the way. So Evie, I'll let you guys know if Evie ends up liking this bed because I think it's cute. It's neutral in pattern. The colors in my home, I feel like it matches more as well. Obviously you see the colors I have here. It's just pretty neutral. And I have this blanket that she loves. She loves this blanket. This is her baby doggy blanket. And I try to put her blanket here so she can like the bed, but she hasn't gotten into the bed at all. Um, but other than that, we hope you guys like this video about Evie's favorite bedding and we hope that it helps you select the perfect bed for your Yorkie. Thank you so much for tuning in. Till next time. But that bed don't even look comfortable. <laughs> it doesn't look comfortable. He said this one doesn't look comfortable. So out of all of them, Jay, which one do you think is the com most comfortable? This one. Oh, oh, out of that one? Out of all of them. So Evie's shopping, currently Evie's shopping around for beds. Last thing, if you want to um, restuff your beds, polyfill that has the fluff. So basically you're buying the fluff inside. So I'm pretty much going to try to repair this bed. This is Evie's first bed. So that way if you wanna save money and not buy another bed, just um, buy some polyfill, stuff them, and then um, just sew it up. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So hopefully this tip um, was useful. And if you guys have any other tips for beds, you're more than welcome to place it in the comment box below. I stuffed her bed so that way it won't be so lopsided. And it's a lot better. Yes. We had the before and the after now. I mean, it's not super perfect. I didn't really fluff the front like that because Jay said she needs kind of like an opening <laughs> to get in. But this looks so much better. It kind of looks like what it looks like when I first bought it. It's just more fluffy. This right here is the ultimate bed for Evie. It's the ultimate choice now that it's fluffed. You know, I know it's kind of big and in the way and my goal was to get something smaller, but I may actually just return this one and keep this one instead.